Hello. If you have seen very many of my videos, you will recognize where I am. You are joining me in my prayer room once again. I am talking to you from here because I was so encouraged by the Lord this morning that I just had to share it with you because I, I know it's a word for some of you. I was really struggling this morning. I have been struggling for a while and the struggle comes from promoting my book. I had no idea that marketing and promoting a book is so much work, even when you have a publisher. And I just feel like I've been knocking on so many doors and peddling and getting nowhere. And it's just been so frustrating. Um, and I feel like I'm not seeing much fruit from it. My husband's saying otherwise, but and and trying to encourage me. But I have just been really, really discouraged and and it, it and a feeling like I, I'm just ready to tell God I'm done. I quit. This is just too hard. It's too much work. You brought a publisher to me. I did not pursue publishing this book. You literally brought a publisher to me. You're going to have to start bringing people to me who want this book or who want to promote this book or get it out there or whatever. I'm just done. And And I hadn't voiced that out loud. I know better than to speak something out like that and give the enemy ammunition to work with. Um, I was already struggling on my own. I don't need the enemy throwing up uh, even more walls and darts and arrows against me. Uh, and so anyway, I came into my prayer room this morning very discouraged and telling the Lord in my heart and in my mind, I'm done. And I turned on my computer. And my screensaver greeted me a couple weeks ago. I changed my screensaver. And what it says now is always pray and never give up. And I looked at that, always pray and never give up. And I noticed there's a, 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 a scripture reference under that of Luke 18, 1. And I've never actually turned to my Bible and read Luke 18, 1 to see the scripture <coughs> that that is referring to. When I did that, that's exactly what it says. And I want to read this to you this morning, and I want to go a little bit further um, to continue. So let me read this to you. Luke 18, 1, and then we're going to continue. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? And with that, what, what I really see for us, especially as um, grieving parents, <coughs> is that we want justice. And But the thing is, um, getting justice uh, for anyone that had anything to do with the death of your child, whether it was directly or indirectly, yourself, your child for doing something, whatever it is, that that person is not our adversary. That person is not our enemy. Our enemy is Satan. Our enemy is the one who brought evil, who brought corruption, who brought these things into the world in the first place. So we have to make sure that we are going to God. And just like this woman did, crying out to God day and night, where's my justice, God? God is going to um, bring the enemy down. And so I just want to encourage you. Always pray and never give up. We have no idea how close our breakthrough is. And when I'm talking about um, a, a breakthrough for you, I'm talking about a breakthrough of coming back into a place of light and life again, having hope that you can live a life beyond the death of your child. And I know for a lot of you, it doesn't feel like that at all right now. But I'm telling you, don't give up. Keep 
praying because there is a breakthrough for you. And sometimes it's a suddenly, um, you know, I think about a verse in Habakkuk that talks about wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and suddenly. And and um, so some of us, there might be a turning point where there's a suddenly. Some of us, it's just keep going one step, one minute, one breath at a time. Um, but just continue to hold on to God through your darkness, through your pain, and continue to cry out for him to take the enemy down for what he brought into your life, what the enemy brought into your life. And so with that, um, I, I referred to my book earlier. I don't want to uh, forget to tell you about a special that we have right now. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to, I don't mean this to be a commercial, but this book is really, really helpful for so many people. And right now we have a pre-order special. The book comes out in stores July 5th. If you order it, it's called When Tragedy Strikes, Rebuilding Your Life with Hope and Healing After the Death of Your Child. If you order this book from your book retailer uh, be, by July 4th, go to www.gpshope.org and you'll see where you can click on the book there and it will take you to a page where you can um, give us information. And as a thank you for ordering this book, we have uh, 13 authors who have given me their books to give to you for free as a thank you. They're digital books. So um, go to our website, pre-order the book, When Tragedy Strikes, then go to our website and click on that and get the information on how to get 13 free books. And almost all of these books are books that are uh, that will encourage you in in adversity, encourage you in the darkness, and encourage you in hope and victory. And so with that, let me remind you that we are here to be a light of hope Whoops, how about that? <laughs> to be a light of hope in your time of darkness. There is hope in Christ.